Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July 16th to the 31st, 2023 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel be seen by the YouTube algorithm and helps it grow, so thank you so very much for doing so. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of, Virgo. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. This is the Prince of Wands reverse. We can be a little bit reckless. We can also be very drawn to people who are reckless or have a bit of a temper. So just be aware of this. We ourselves can have a bit of a temper during this time. We want to move faster than is actually possible. So we're setting ourselves up with very unrealistic expectations. And then when we don't meet them, we're being very harsh and unfair to ourselves. So just be very mindful about this. We can also have somebody in our lives who's embodying this. They're being very harsh, very unfair, unrealistic expectations. But I also see this as something that we're fostering within ourselves. We want to move. It's kind of like we want to run before we can even crawl. So just be aware of this and be aware that whenever you start something new or whenever you're moving forward in, in a new way, it takes time. You fall. You you stumble. You you don't get it right the first time, the second time. Heck, even the tenth time, you might still be figuring out. Be kind to yourself and be patient with yourself. Put something to the side if you need to, if if it's getting too frustrating, and then come back to it. You know, give yourself a chance to breathe. Have a cup of tea. Calm down. It's it's okay. We're feeling right now like it isn't. We're having this intensity to our personality come out and we want everything to be perfect and we want everything to move quickly and we're we're astoundingly fierce when it comes to this but it's not necessarily going to be the best thing for us so just be aware of that let's see what spirit has to say angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels oh goodness this one right here gratitude when spirit says to embrace gratitude, it's remembering to say thank you, not, not just for the big things. It's saying thank you for the million little things that make up our day, that make up, us, make up our world. You know, the little things matter. We tend to focus a lot and our world tends to focus a lot on the big things, the grand things, the, the over the top things. And that's great, but you can only have so many of those. You have a lot of the steady eddy type of, of energy coming forward. Embracing gratitude, saying thank you, saying thank you to yourself for your existence, your soul for your existence, your angels, your spirit guides for connecting with you, the universe for being part of you. This is big stuff. And it's, it's so small. And yet it's so powerful. Because if you see somebody who lives in gratitude, who you know, it isn't just about, you know, keeping a gratitude journal or, you know, making sure you tell everybody that you say, you know, thank you about these things. But it's about really saying thank you in your heart. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. That becomes very empowering. That is very, very beautiful. 
And those people, we're so drawn to them when we meet them, when we see them, because they're so rare. And a lot of people can actually be also very, very jealous. If you really start embracing a life of gratitude, a life of, of honoring your existence and the existence around you, you can find that people want to attack. They want to, to bring you down because they're miserable. And if you're living in gratitude and you're living in a higher energy vibration, well, that's not what they want. So just be aware of that. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Oh, goodness. Of course, it fell right on the floor. So let me go and get that. I'll be right back. So crowning, ooh, I don't know if you could hear me. I was quite far away from my mic. Crowning everything is the King of Swords. Angels and spirit guides show them clearly. Interesting. Okay, so you know what song popped into my head when the card started to turn over? It's like this change will do you good. And that's that's what I'm seeing here. There's a real sense of a release and there's a real sense of a finishing. We have to be very aware. It's going to be very, very, very easy during this time to get stuck, to get stuck in petty differ disagreements, differences, arguments, to look at things and see what isn't happening instead of looking at things and seeing what is. So be very mindful about that. With the King of Swords, this is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is also cutting through a lot of the nonsense and a lot of the bull and saying, this is what I want, this is what I'm seeing, and this is how I'm moving forward. We're being very honest. Now, that honesty, we can have you know, our temper mixed in with that, and it can lead to a bit of cruelty. So be mindful about this. Also, we can be very attracted to people who are going to say, well, they're telling it like it is. They're just being mean, okay? You can say things like they are, but you don't have to be cruel about it. So be aware of this. The King of Swords is embracing an energy of honesty, of clarity, and of insight without, without being cruel, okay? So if you have somebody in your life who's just cruel, it's just mean, it's kind of like the person who, who kicks puppies type of thing, walk away, walk away. It's going to be really beneficial to you. You're embracing also the King of Swords energy. You need to embrace your throat chakra. You need to say what you need to say, even if it's just to yourself. And that sounds rather redundant. It's like, great, Dane, I need to say what I need to say. But you need to start voicing what you want, the clarity of insight, cutting through doubts, cutting through fears, looking at things and saying, yeah, I'm scared of that. Or yeah, this is overwhelming to me. Or yeah, I don't know how to move forward this way. And as you, you claim that knowledge, you're going to see yourself freeing yourself. You don't need to have all the answers. And that's a very big deal. You can also have a very close connection with an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. This person, this person is blunt, okay? Not cruel. There's a difference. This person is blunt. They'll point out things that need to be seen, but they will not be cruel and malicious. So be aware of that. This person embodies the, the throat chakra, that energy of, of communication. This person can, can talk for a living, you know, can write for a living, can communicate, like draw whatever it is, however they communicate, they communicate for a living. And that's going to be a very powerful thing for you because you're stepping into that role of being a master communicator. It moves us to the five of cups. The five of cups is change your mind and change your life. It is going to be so easy right now to cry over spilt milk, to look at things, to say, it's not adding up. It's not moving forward the way that I wanted it to. I'm not where I want to be. And to be very cruel to ourselves. We have to change this. We have to say, what falls away, falls away. And we have to embrace our love, our compassion, and our, our beauty for ourselves. Change your mind and change your life. And this is going to be a time where we need to be very aware of our thoughts because our thoughts are astoundingly powerful. We're not giving it the credit we're not giving our thoughts and our knowledge the credit that it deserves, but it's astoundingly powerful. If you take one thing away during this time, it's that your thoughts matter. So 
be aware of it. Be aware of the the music you're feeding your brain. Be aware of the words you're feeding your brain. Be aware of the energy you're feeding yourself. Everything is going to have such a powerful impact on you. With the page of pentacles reverse, there's something here where you're really balking against being a student and having to learn. But this is going to be a time where you have to learn. And so there's this energy of like, no, I should already know that's coming forward. Stop. Just stop. This is going to be a time where, yeah, we don't want to you know, work out the nitty gritty of everything. We don't want to sit there and learn and kind of have, like, I'm just seeing like, we don't want school mom energy around us. We just don't, you know, that kind of scolding, you will do it just like this, that wagging of the finger type of energy. But we are going to see that this is going to be a time that even though we are resistant to learning, that we are going to be learning a lot. And we're going to look back at it and say, you know what? I balked against this. I, I fought against this. And yet I'm so glad I learned this. I'm so glad I saw this in this light. I so, I'm so glad I moved forward in this way. So just know that we, we are going to have a bit of a resistance to it. A lot of knowledge is going to be coming to us in our dreams. And yet there's something here about like resisting sleep or not getting good night sleeps. So just make sure that you're, you're taking care of yourself. With the universe, the universe, this is the world and the Rider Waite Smith deck. This is very much an energy of it's not about everybody else. You know, it's not about the greater world. It's not about how many people we know and how many, you know, likes or this or that we can have. It's about our own little universe and it's about connecting with us. And that's going to be a very big thing. We we want to be distracted by the outside world. We really do. We want to make it more about the external than the internal. And that's okay. But it's really just to, it's just to distract ourselves. It's just to keep our energy off of what really matters. And that's going to be us, that energy of gratitude, that energy of my world is so beautifully important to me and so powerfully guiding me forward. And this is a time to slow it down. It's not about everybody else. It's not about the compliments. It's not about what other people think. It's about you. And that changes the game completely. There's a part of you that you're going to think, you're going to think that there should be a, an awakening. There should be a way forward. There should be some sort of, of catapulting that, that should be happening now. You're not quite ready for it. So there's going to be this, this bit of a, a frustration because again, you're going to look at things and there's an energy of like so much more should be open to me or it should be about so much more than it is right now. And spirit's like, listen, right here, right now, you need to stand in you. It's a quiet time. It's not about everybody else. It's not about everybody's opinion, everybody's ideas. It's a quiet time to connect with you. The last half of July is going to be a very eye-opening time for yourself. And you're going to see here with, with judgment, reverse, it is about turning in. There's a part of you that you're going to think, well, there's a part of me that should be awakening. Like there's a part of me that should be moving forward. I, I'm stagnant. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Stop it. It is going to be so easy, once again, so easy during this time to be negative to ourselves. And right now, it's time to count the wins, even if they're super little, like, wow, I got out of bed today. We might think, well, what's the big deal about that? It's a big deal. Some people don't. You know, wow, you know, I I made sure to, you know, put on my favorite perfume, cologne, you know, whatever, because I did that for me. And again, it's a big deal because we're taking care of ourselves. It's going to be these little tiny things that really in the grand scheme of things, we're going to think, oh, it doesn't matter, but it matters to us. And it's going to be grounding us. Scent is going to be very important to us. And if you're triggered, I know somebody's listening saying, oh, I get migraines, okay? Sense of things, just taking deep breaths in, smelling the world around you, connecting. I know it might sound funny to some of us, but it's going to be such a powerful thing. Just that act of taking a deep breath in is also going to be a regulating of our breathing and then practicing breath. That's going to be very important. But if we start off just with smelling a rose, you know, smelling the air outside after the rain, <laughs> my gosh, here where I am, it's been raining so much. So here it's just taking in the world and connecting with you. That's going to lead you to a powerful place. The four of wands is celebration. 
This could be new job opportunity. This could be moving house. This could be new ideas moving forward and being able to celebrate with family and friends. And it's like, celebrate, celebrate. It's going to be so easy again during this time. And just in our human nature, it's so easy to to be stern with ourselves, to be harsh with ourselves, you know, or to be frivolous. We do have those people who just celebrate everything and, and don't and don't have the follow through, right? Life is just one endless, endless game. And it's like, okay, well, that's the other extreme. But here, there's really a need to celebrate your successes, celebrate family, friends, connections, love, beauty, celebrate it all. The little things matter so much. The little things are so beautiful. This is a time to connect with it. And it's going to be a time where we're going to think, oh no, it has to be big. It has to be big because this is a celebration like a wedding, right? And those are big affairs, but it can be small. It can be private. It can be beautiful. And that can also be so lovely. It doesn't have to be the grandiose, look at me, look at me type of energy that our world loves so much. Something quieter, something subtler, something astoundingly personal. That's going to be everything. And then you're going to find here with the with the Knight of Cups, water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. If you have this in your chart, it's coming through very powerfully. It's saying, rise above the chaos of emotion and move forward in love. This is a time where we're really connecting with our heart chakra. Where we're saying, what do I love? What do I need? But remember also, the color green is also connected with our liver in Qigong. And that is where our anger is held. Looking at what makes us angry, what makes us frustrated, what keeps us from fully embracing what we love. That's going to be a very important thing too. We're going to find that this is a time where we can have people really test us, you know, call us out and, and just be, there's somebody who's going to be emotionally very aware. We can find that person to be difficult. There are other people who are going to be emotionally aloof. We're going to find those people difficult as well. There's a sense here of why can't people embrace their emotions the way I need them to? That's not going to happen. This is going to be a time where we look at our heart, we look at what we emotionally need, what we emotionally desire, and we start to see ourselves giving word to it and moving forward and saying, I claim what I love, and I'm moving forward in love and in serenity of heart and in beauty of self. Water sign energy, again, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is energy very much of the abstract, of the emotions, of the, the processing of emotions. We're not going to want to be a student of them. We don't want to be a student during this time. And yet we're going to find that this is a time where we're learning so much. And old hangups, like old things that kept us held back, like that kept us stuck, like anchored in place, they're going to start to erode. And we're going to start to see ourselves moving forward in a way that has us seeing us. We can really like that. And for some of us, we can feel uncomfortable with that. It depends on where we are in our journey during this life. So be aware. Be aware that this is a powerful time, but this is a very, I want to say insular time. This is a very, you know, personal time for you, Virgo. And it's going to be a heck of a lot more personal than you realize. It moves us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. And it's the Ace of Cups reverse. Be mindful that you have a lot of emotions, that there's an intensity to your emotions. A lot of stagnant energy is being released. And we can find that we can be easily tearful. We can find that we can be easily overwhelmed. We can find that we feel, you know, other people, like even before they enter a room, we know they're coming. We can feel their energy first. And that can be something that just knocks us completely off our game. So be aware of this, the emotions of others. If we don't ground ourselves, if we don't, you know, connect with our own energy, it's going to be draining. And we can find that this can be a time that we feel like, like we're aging, right? Like that all the, the beauty and vibrancy is going out of us because we're connecting so much with everybody else's nonsense and it's draining us. So just be aware of that. Be aware of that. And, and we have to stop it because there's a saying in, in Qigong that you need a gallon to fill a cup. And we do. We need to have a gallon to fill a cup. But this is going to be a time where we're finding ourselves running on empty. We need to stop and we need to fill up our emotions. 
And we need to connect with our emotions too. Our subconscious tarot, not tarot, but spirit message is blessed, reversed. We're not seeing that we're blessed. We're looking at everything and we can so easily see what isn't going right, what you know hasn't been working out, where we're lacking instead of seeing, okay, you know what, that path, maybe not my path. You know, maybe what I had anticipated or the words that I had to describe what I want is not necessarily the way that what I desire is going to move forward. Starting to see ourselves as blessed instead of as cursed, instead of as, you know, behind, you know, instead of as lacking is going to be a very important and very powerful thing during this time to say, I am blessed. And maybe it's not every moment of every day that we feel blessed, but it's, it's knowing I am blessed. I am, I am powerful. I am connected. I am so much more than I realized and blessed. That's who we are. We are blessed beings. Our subconscious (laughs) spirit message is the five of wands. Subconsciously, we're ready for a fight. We're ready to fall into the pettiness. We're ready for the arguments, disagreements, the upsets, the disappointments, we're ready for it. We've had a lot of it in our lives. And it's going to be so easy to be right there. Subconsciously, we're right there. We're, we're there for the petty. Spirit is saying, step back. Step back. The pettiness, that will destroy us. This is, this is squabbling. This is play fighting that gets out of hand. You know, so here, just be very aware of that. All right. <laughs> All right, Virgo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all, and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy, as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Virgo. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.